guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna do something I never do. I'm going to review some markers. Now, these are alcohol markers. And I'll start with how I got to know this company. They contacted me and they asked if I would do a honest review on my channel in exchange for a set of markers. Now, thinking to myself, hmm, I don't really own any markers because I used to own a Ruhu and they dried up because I never used them. So I was like, well, you know, I did um, Inktober last year. That's maybe where they, they saw that I was working with markers and I did Inktober and I really had a good time with it, but I didn't have any colored markers to color in anything last year without cheating and using pencils. I do want to do it again this year and I did want to get a, a set. And they were very insistent. It must be an honest review. And I was like, that's not a problem, because if these markers suck, I'm going to say it. <laughs> well, the markers arrived really quickly, like within a couple of days. And I was quite impressed that, first of all, they came in this plastic box. Now, I'm going to let you take a look at it a little bit closer. And I didn't notice it at the beginning, but all of the magic markers lined up perfectly. And when I finally started removing them, and, and I was able to look down inside, you could see they have those little squares on the bottom that lock the pens in perfectly. Now this might not make a difference to some of you, but it's one of the little things that I do like. It, I mean, it's a small touch. It has nothing to do with the way the markers perform, but it just tells me the company put a little extra effort into what they were giving with their product. The markers do come with a swatch sheet and I was pretty happy about that because this will fit right into the box and I won't lose it. The most important thing about the markers is of course how they perform. So I'm going to do a demo and see how I like them. This may not bother you, but it sort of bothers me and bothers me a lot. These colors on 
the outside, the plastic, do not match very well with the ink on the inside. And I have to be completely upfront about that. I know I watched a couple of other people who, and they do agree with me. It's not the best color matches. I will show you in a few seconds what I am talking about. And then I started thinking, well, there has to be a way or something other than a chart. It does come, some of the marker is heavier. So the, like this green and the black numbers, it's not the greatest as far as my eyesight. Now your eyesight might, might be great and this is fine. You might be like, oh, I can use this little swatch sheet with me. I like them big. I like them bold and I like them spread out all over the, the place. That's the way I like my swatch sheets. But sometimes when I'm working, it's impractical to me, for me to keep having to look over on a swatch sheet. So if I'm looking for a certain pink, I can't, I can't be going through the swatch sheet and then go hunting through all the pink markers. It's a pain in the butt. So there had to be a way of fixing this. And I came up with an idea and I was very surprised I didn't see anybody else doing this. I thought everybody would have thought of this. I will show you. These are the ones that I'm still working on. This was such a simple idea and solved so many issues. First, I could see at a distance exactly what marker it is. If my caps ever get off for whatever reason or I screw up my caps, which everybody knows it's so easy to just screw up your magic marker caps and then you're, it's like over. I just made myself a swatch sheet, a simple square, colored in with the magic marker, some scotch tape. Um, I started with packing tape because I couldn't find my scotch tape. And I taped it very smoothly on the plastic. Now I have a very accurate, very quick look at what the color actually is. Now I want to show you that there are a lot of differences in the markers. Some of you, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but this is much browner than this orange. So I may pick it up in a different way. I may pick this up with the yellows and I want it with the, uh, with the more with the browns. It does make a difference. This set comes with two specialty markers, one a gold and one a silver. These are more like paint markers than they are inky magic markers. And the company did say that these two work better when they've been stored on the side and shaken slightly. Now, you don't shake it till the ink goes flying everywhere. You can put the cap on, give it a little bit of a shake. Now, what they did tell me was that on the gold, some people have said that it came out a little bit gritty. And at first I did not notice at all. The second time when I went back after they told me that this has been an issue with the gold pen, I did, I did notice it. But if I didn't notice it the first time and they didn't tell me about it, I wouldn't have even thought about it. Let's look about my impressions of these markers in general. If you've ever checked out the price of alcohol markers, they're not cheap. The price for these is very low in comparison to what you would spend on other brands. Now we're looking at the quality. The set runs for $29.99. You go to the products page on Amazon for the company, there's a $2 coupon. That is very good for markers. In fact, it beat Ohuhu by $10. I found the quality of these markers um, equal or exceeding Oh, the lay down was very smooth. The blendability on these markers was very good. But the most important thing to me is how they react with pencils. That's what I'm going to work on now for just a few moments just to test it on how they look blended with pencils. Because in 99% of every picture that I would use markers on, I'd also be blending with pencils. Very nice. It completely fits my needs as far as what I'm looking for in an alcohol marker. The variety of colors well exceeds anything that I would need to add pencil on top of. They're sheer enough that they're not overpowering the page. 
the marker itself seems to blend nicely with the pencil. In fact, this is just one layer and you can see the richness of color I'm achieving on the page, which will probably save me a lot when it comes to the wear down of my pencils. That's kind of what I was looking for. I wanted something that was not going to dominate the color, but add a richness to it that you don't achieve without really working hard with pencils. For me, I do a lot of videos. I do a lot of uh, pencil work. So this is going to save me a lot of time. Let's see. Working on the red. Oh yeah, it's blending in beautifully. Very nice. This set has really everything that I would be looking for in a marker set. I wish I had these last year. <laughs> but I'm going to be doing Inktober again this year. Now I do own some Copics and they seem to blend in with my pencil as good as the Copics do. Now, to me, the most important color in any set is always the gray. And they have quite a few, both warm and cool colors. Now, this is... a cool gray. And I use the grays for shadows. And for toning, very nice. Look at that, what I've just created. Oh, it's a lot easier than <laughs> with pure pencil, let me tell you. And this is just one of the grays. This is the blue gray, which would be the cool gray. Shadow. Out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that probably just destroyed my look of no background. Very nice. That's exactly what I have with my Copics. A darker one. Let's see. Even nicer. Look how easy shadows become. And that's sitting out in the middle of nowhere, kind of an odd looking shadow. I'm just trying to let you see it. Very nice. Really adds dimension and they give you quite a few of them. What's funny, I was reading some of the reviews on Amazon and one person actually complained. Um, it wasn't on this set, it was on a different set. Why do they have to give you so many grays? And I'm just sitting there smiling to myself going, well, that's a selling point. A set that has lots of gray colors means you've increased your set's ability to create new colors tenfold. So... I'm very happy with this. Um, oh, a little bit about the actual marker itself. The tips are bullet, nib, and chisel nib. They don't come in brush, 
But I found that the chis uh, the bullet nib was very comfortable and very, um, very controlled. So I'm very happy with that. I have no problem. Usually I do like a brush tip, but I'm really liking these, the control on them. So I give these markers two thumbs up. There's really, between the price point and their quality, I don't see any downfall, except for the fact that the plastic and the ink did not match. That would be my only negative on this. And like I showed you, that is no longer a problem. So I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.